Y'all, this is one of my favorite dishes. It is so good. Okay, so this recipe is something that my grandmother would make. It was a special occasion. She made it for like Thanksgiving or just like if people were going to be there a random Saturday, but it's one of my favorites and my mom's and all of my family. So it takes a little bit of work. Normally I have a mortar and pedestal, but I didn't, so I used a grater. I grated um, seven cloves of garlic. This is for another meal, <laughs> but seven cloves of garlic, and you want it juicy like this. You want to bring out all the juices. So, and I'm going to put oregano all in it. Probably add a little bit more as well. Because it's very important. And then you want to kind of make a paste with it. I don't have a mortar and pedestal, obviously. But this is working just fine. These are the main two ingredients. For the marinade. So look at that. It's just becoming that paste. It smells awesome. <laughs> and there we go. It's all mixed yeah. in. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of pepper and Some white pepper. salt because that's the pepper I have. A little bit of salt to it as well. And a little bit of pepper. And then we are going to grab our pork. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just rub it all over. Mm, mm, mm. All over. Get all that flavor <clears throat> oh, yeah. inside. Got to caress it. Love on it. And where I cut, I'm going to stick some too. There you go. <laughs> so make sure the much falls, you got it. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so there there it is. Doesn't have to be perfect just on it. I'm gonna stick it in here. And then the last ingredient is the orange juice. Oh great. That looks so good. It smells mm -hmm. amazing. Absolutely. So I just bought a cheaper orange juice. That's what I could find. And then you just pour it over it. And you could do this with any pork. I'm not going to fill it completely up. I'm going to turn it and toss it in that throughout the day. And by the time it's ready to cook, it's going to be going to taste amazing, y'all. This pork has been marinating all night, and I've just been kind of turning it in the liquid. I am going to sear it right there before I stick it in the crock pot to cook. So, yeah, watch me sear. I'm out of oil, so I put down just a little bit of... Um, my Aldi olive oil spray. And I really, really, with this, I want to sear the skin. Because when I stick in the crock pot, crock pot, I don't want it to be um, extremely um, fatty. And look at it rendering out that fat. Okay, I have placed it back in the crock pot. I gave it a little turn so it's back in the juice. I'm gonna cover it and do low for eight because it runs pretty hot. Actually, nope. I'm gonna do high for four hours and see what it's like and if I need to put it on warm, whatever. But I will show you what it looks like when it gets done in four hours. Listen to that. It is done and I'm going to put it on warm. It has been going for 
about five hours you see that chunk right there i totally had to have it but yeah so i'm going to make our plates and i will show you what it looks like when we're done so this is how we are serving the pork and beans and rice tonight looking good smells good too it tasted incredible i served it with some black beans and rice and that was our dinner and it was just out of this world <laughs> but um if you really enjoyed this cooking segment go ahead and give me a like and comment um what was what would you do different would you add something to it and um hit that subscribe button i'd love for you to join our exploring family but thanks so much for watching and y'all have a good day